Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the accounting for redeeming bonds at maturity, which is actually a lot easier than the name may imply. So first of all, let's just talk in general. What do we mean when we say we're redeeming a bond? Well, redemption is simply the process of paying off the bond debt and canceling out that bond certificate that said you owed someone money. So when the bond is redeemed, and this is in general, this isn't just maturity, this is just in general, when a bond is redeemed, you are going to credit cash because you are paying off the face value of that bond to investors. You are going to debit the bond payable because bond payable represents the face value of bond to investors. If there is a remaining premium or a remaining discount on the bond you are getting rid of, you will either debit or credit that to get rid of it as well. You can't leave a premium on your books if there's no bond payable on your books. You can't leave a discount on your books if there's no bond payable on your books. Now, again, these things here won't happen at maturity, which is the topic of this video, but in general, they are part of the redemption process. If there is any difference at all between the cash you pay and the book value of your bond that you're getting rid of, that will result in either what is known as a gain on redemption or a loss on redemption. And just as a note down here, I want to point out that companies do try to strategically time the payment of their bonds in order to minimize the ultimate cost of their debt. So they may incur, say, a loss on a redemption of a bond, but as long as that loss is less than the remaining interest payments had they not redeemed the bond and waited till later, then that's actually a smart business decision. So companies are strategic about bond payoffs. Now, as I mentioned, this video is specifically focused on redeeming at maturity. Maturity suggests that the bond has hit end of life, which means even if it started off with a premium or a discount, by the time you hit maturity, the premium and discounts have been amortized. They're gone. And so all you're left with is a liability, bond payable for the face value, and that's the amount you owe investors. So this is about as easy as redemption comes. Here we say on March 31st, Flyer Corps redeems $200,000 worth of bonds. The bonds have already reached maturity. Prepare the journal entry for redemption. I also note here, ignore the final interest payment. Remember, typically there is one last interest payment due on the same day that bonds are redeemed, but we're focusing simply on redemption, not interest, so let's just do that. In this case, March 31, bond payable is the liability going away for $200,000. How's it going away? Well, we're paying it off with cash, $200,000. Because there is no premium or discount, we don't have to worry about getting rid of those. And because there is no premium or discount, there is no opportunity for a gain or loss because the amount of the bond payable is the cash we are going to pay to get rid of this bond on maturity. That could be different if you are redeeming a bond early, prior to maturity. But again, that is not the topic of this video. So this is it. Redemption at maturity. Bond payable goes away. Cash for that exact amount. And you're done. All right, that's it for redeeming bonds at maturity. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.